Hello everybody, welcome to week 4 of the IDL. This week we're going up against the San Diego Salamence and their Japan Sand team. They've got a really scary mode with you now Japan Sand has seen success in a lot of different formats and it always seems to be, like even weather in general always seems to be really strong so it's going to be interesting to see if he does actually bring that, that against us. He's got Fire Name Z and Rock Name Z. Um, so even though he does have the strong sand mode, he doesn't. He kind of traded for that by having the weaker water and grass types in the Japan sand archetype. So hopefully we can capitalize on that. But overall they do have a pretty scary team, but I think that we can handle it. Gardevoir always does somewhat decent against Japan sand, especially with Amoongus, because of the sheer amount of offensive pressure and trick room. So hopefully we can kind of try to recreate that. So let's move on to my team. So we've we've got our team here, and uh, <laughs> talk about that later. So first up, we've got Jirachi. Jirachi is here to support the Gardevoir mostly. Uh, Redirection is always strong. Icy Wind provides some good damage. We just need to give Gardevoir as much space to work as possible, and that's why we're bringing two Redirectors this week. Uh, we have the Okaberry, Akaberry? I'm gonna say Akaberry for Bikini, because otherwise there's no way we're taking a V-Create. And this lets us survive one, and then lets Gardevoir continue doing its thing. Icy Wind is uh, another form of speed control, in case we manage to stall out um, Sand. So we can outspeed like the Excadrill and maybe the other Gardevoir, because he has normal Gardevoir on his team. He can hit Jirachi really hard, but I don't need Jirachi to stick around for too long. I just need to it to, to give Jirachi one one more turn, you know, so that we can set up Trick Room or we can get off a nice Hyper Voice. That's all we need to do this week. So here's the Guard of War that we're running. Um, very physically bulky because we kind of need to be... He doesn't have that many... He doesn't have that many special attackers. Um, and God of War has good special defense anyways. So this will let us take like earthquakes and rock slides and especially after Intimidate. Pretty standard set. Uh, we've got Shadow Ball for the Victini. This set covers pretty much everything that it needs to. Um, he does have Wide Guard on Gigalith, which might be an issue, but I mean we have other members of the team that can that can deal with Gigalith. Uh, we're bringing Yachi Berry Landers. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be part of our lead. Uh, we're bringing Earthquake, Rock Slide, and U-Turn along to protect, of course, because we're not running like a Salt Vest or a Band or a Choice Item or anything like that, so we can afford to run Protect. I expected him to plan against it, which is why I have the Yachi Berry. He does so much damage to everything on his team, and hopefully we're going to have Golbat over here to take advantage of that. So, it might seem a little strange <laughs> that we're bringing a Golbat to a game against Sand. But, consider that we're actually pairing it with Landorus, so Intimidate is going to be helpful. A lot of his things are physical attackers, and like, when you look at this bulk like that, there's a lot of, a lot of physical bulk especially, so we can take enough attacks to set up Tailwind, Earthquake with Landorus, maybe recover, get some super things off, and set up for Landorus to start doing its thing. Like let's say he sent, let's say he leads normal sand, right? He kind of has to target down the Landorus, so maybe we go for, I don't know, maybe a Protect and Tailwind, or an Earthquake and Tailwind, and then from there we can maybe Protect and Roost, or Protect Super Fang if we haven't taken too much damage, and then we can Earthquake again and pick up a few KOs and Roost up again, rinse and repeat from there. So this thing and... Landorus are meant to go together, those are our leads. Can't be flinched with Rock Slide, which is nice because of Inner Focus. It puts in a lot of work against the Grass types, which you might try to use to counter the Landorus, but I don't know. I feel like he has two good answers to this lead, and that's Gardevoir and Lapras. But if he brings either of those, then I'm honestly somewhat happy because that means that Gardevoir has a really solid matchup against those two. So I'm really hoping that Golbat puts in work and I'm not going to pull up any calcs right now, but like it survives two V-Creates from Victini, especially after Intimidate and the attack drop. It can take rock slides from anything on his team. Stahamet's double edge does like 30-40%, to 40%, and that's before an Intimidate. Hyper Voice is doing 30%. The only thing that can straight up when it KO it is probably like Tyranitar, Rock, Nymzee, or Psychic from Gardevoir. 
but either of those things Landris can deal with really well. Uh, we're bringing Amoongus because Amoongus Gardevoir is really strong against Japan Sand, so we're bringing it. The only thing that this really struggles with is Salamence, because it can Oko the Amoongus and then its partner can do whatever it wants to Gardevoir. So that's why we have Koba Berry, the blind resist one, so we can take the attack from Salamence, take the attack from the partner, and Hyper Voice safely. There's not much to explain about this Amoongus. It does have a pretty decent matchup here, like it can put in damage if it finds the chance to, but it's just meant to support Gardevoir, just like Jirachi. Swampert is going to be our source of chip damage. You can't even chip damage, you can honestly pull out a lot of KOs. So, Ice Beam is always going to one-shot the Salamence, even if he's not running naive. Low Kick will always one-shot the Tyranitar. And then Earth Power can two-shot things that are weak to it. He does have two Grass types, but it's not like he's going to bring both of them. If he does bring Grass types, again, that's something else the Gardevoir can do really well against, especially with, if he has Jirachi next to it. Also something that Golbat does well against. So Swampert's just going to be there doing its thing. Lots of damage. Hopefully it can put in enough chip damage to actually let Gardevoir go for the sweep. So things are relying a lot on Gardevoir, but I think that we can pull it off. Like I mentioned earlier, the plan is going to be lead Landorus and Golbat, and then use Super Fang, Tailwind, Speed Control. Essentially let Landorus go do its thing. Hopefully we'll be able to catch him off guard with the Archie Berry and maybe pick up a nice KO on like, I don't know, maybe the Tarantar or the Victini. The Victini would be so nice. His answers to Gardevoir are Victini, Excadrill, and Gigalith with Wide Guard. So those are all weak to ground, which is really nice. And we're bringing two ground types. We have a lot of redirection. So hopefully we can pull that off. So yeah, like this entire game is going to be spent setting up for Gardevoir. And because it can two hit KO, like everything except for the Gigalith, maybe the Lapras. But then those things are weak to Gardevoir, and he doesn't really have any answers to Spore under Trick Room. So it's going to be an interesting game, and I do think that we have a really, we have a really solid matchup, I think. So I hope that it goes well, and we'll see you all in the battle.